Child, Doncaster Mourn, but built for theme parks. And welcome to this uh, vlog here from the Olden Towers Resort. We're here, it's finally time. We're going to get on all the attractions today with the man, Nemesis, Smiler, Spinball, 13 Rita, and the brand new ride for 2021, Gangster Granny the Riders Park, the World of David Valley, the place in Cloud Cup Land. And we're also going to get on the Retro Squad, fingers crossed, which is a collection of uh, temporary fairground attractions with that retro 80s theme uh, mixed around the areas. As you can see, the rides behind me all wonderfully uh, passing through here on the monorail. I'm going to get to the plaza and we'll see you when we get there. Let's go! So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time since June 2019, walking in to Tower Street. It is amazing to be back. It's so amazing to be back. First time since 2019 being here, and it's just incredible to hear the music again, see the buildings on Tower Street all painted up, see the frog fountains going off. Zooming a bit closer. There we go. Fan Dabby Dozy. Right. Hopefully, fingers crossed, something like Wicker Man or Smile will be the first drive we get on. So uh, let's just see what happens. But I'm, I'm just happy to be back. I just, like, I think the queues are going to be uh, decent. I don't think they're going to be too long sometimes, but I think they're going to be decent. Um, but we'll see what happens. Obviously, that's the new ride for this year, guys. The Grand of the Ride. So uh, let's enjoy our day at the Autumn Towers Resort. Let's go. Here we go my first ride in two years wicker man entrance right here gci wooden roller coaster in 2018 as we mentioned before that mutiny base sign this is going to be unbelievable i can guarantee it this is going to be fantastic here we are we're in the queue line it's time it's time to feed the flames big bob hashtag big bob Skyride monorails, well, Skyride, Skyride rails there. You never miss this bunting going on. Like I said, first ride in two years. Two flaming years. Cannot wait for it. Even the themed bins. All this wonderful bunting going on at the top. Absolutely wonderful. Let's get on the GCI Wooden Roller Coaster for the first time in two years. Wicker Man. Feed the flames. Hello. So for those of you who don't know enough about the Wicker Man, this happens, well hey, back in 2018, this replaced the flume. Now the flume was the previous occupator of the site. It was a classic log flume ride in the theme of bats and used to be sponsored by Imperial Leather. Now for 2018, Wicker Man officially opens the public as the UK's newest wooden roller coaster. Manufactured by GCI, AKA Great Coast International. Look at that train, it is amazing. We're gonna get our first rides on it in two years. Let's go, hashtag feed the flames. Let's get it on. coaster of the day wicker man now i've got to say from previous rides that i've done on it i thought it was a little bit more rattly than i thought i think it was just the you know the vibrations and the seats and the sensation of the track but i think aside from that i think the rattliness but hey, there we go i think the rattliness just gives it just that little extra edge i'm not just what it is but it's giving that extra uh force a bit more power so I think the, the rattliness I don't mind. Overall, it's still my top coaster in the UK, probably still my top coaster in the world at the moment. Uh, but that's Wicker Man. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the next ride is going to train the ride, the new ride for this year. So let's go over there. Way, through the flames, look at that. For the first time 
The world of David Williams, home to Gangster Granny the Ride. We're in the brand new area for the first time. I've covered this area on the channel for two years. I've covered the attractions, I've covered the construction, I've covered the rumours. We first heard rumours of Paddington and Legoland, but it's the world of David Williams and it's here. And if we come round this corner, we head to the signature attraction in the area, which is Gangster Granny the Ride. Hey! So much meaning there. <laughs> You're giving the sign a clean. <laughs> Here we are, this is the queue for Gangster Granny the Ride. It shouldn't be too long, but we'll. Uh, I'll give you my review afterwards. So we are here in the brand new attraction for 2021, Gangster Granny The Ride, which is your Spin Master 4D Dart Ride manufactured by Garmendel Engineering. Now, you're probably thinking, what was in this building behind me before Gangster Granny? It was the interactive inflatable play equipment Wobble World that operated between 20, 2009 and 2015. In 2019, it was announced that the World Day Williams 2021 opening day was the midway through May, and we're going to get my first try, and I'm going to give you a review in a separate video, as well as a little spoiler-free review in this vlog when we come off the ride. Let's go inside and steal the crown jewels. So there we go guys, I've just had my first ever ride on Gangster Granny the Ride. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail and spoilers uh, in this vlog because I'm going to do a full review as a separate video. Uh, so make sure you go stay tuned for that one in the uploads on the channel. But what I can say from this brand new ride, it doesn't disappoint. It was a great new ride, brilliant effects, brilliant scenes. Uh, shame it broke down halfway through but we got over that and it did very well in terms of dealing with the breakdown. Uh, but I will do a full review but overall in terms of rating I'll go through this again in the review. I'll give it out of 10 for a first try, a good 7 out of 10. I think 7 out of 10 is fair, decent scenes, wonderful effects and overall a decent new dark ride for the park. Let's go inside Hex, Rita, 13 and enjoy the rest of our day. So right here, we are at the oldest coaster currently operating at Alton Towers theme park, the Runaway Mine Train. Opened back in the early 1990s by Mack Rides, it's a powered coaster here as part of the new for 1993 Katanga Canyon section of the park, opening with the uh, re-themed Congo River Rapids. Now this coaster was a wonderful piece of machinery back in the 90s and it still thrills families to this day. Let's get on the Runaway Mine Train, choo choo, oh yeah.
Schweitzer, Rita, Roman Train and Nemesis. Now first of all, to quickly the recap, uh, Rita, a little bit rapidly but still an okay ride if you want to get the credit. 50 minute wait, not too bad there. Uh, Roman Train about a 15, 20 minute wait maximum. Uh, it was alright, a little bit rapidly, but that's because I've got giant knees, that's all. Um, but Nemesis, um, you can't escape that rattling sensation on Nemesis, it is a whole classic course. Look at that guy. Absolutely brilliant. It's not my top coaster now because of Wicker Man, but uh, it is still a decent ride experience. Still one of the best coasts in the UK. Look at it behind me. Good to look. Absolutely amazing. Let's go on the rest of the ride to all the Let's go. So we are midway through the day here at the Alton Towns Resort. We've done a few rides today. The queues have been building up ever steadily. Of course, we've rode down on Gangster Grand in the ride. I'll go through it in more detail during the review of the ride in a separate video on the channel, which will be coming up in the next day or two. Um, but it, it's, definitely been a, it's definitely been a great day so far. You know, the breakdown's not a hint of the mood or anything like that. Uh, Wickham was a decent ride, Nemesis was a decent ride, Rita uh, did its best, uh, as did the other rides as well. Uh, we've still got a couple more to do, Smiler to get on, Oblivion, uh, hopefully 13, Galactica is queues at full capacity, so hopefully wait for that at the end of the day. And uh, the middle of the Sky Ride, lovely, beautiful views out of the Sky Ride. I'm going to point in this gigantic closed bubble uh, over to X Sector to try the Ministry of Joy attractions on offer. So, uh, Let's go over to Smiler and Oblivion. catch up with one of my uh, inspirations of YouTube, the oh. man who started the inspiration for Coaster Shell, Sean Samba from Theme Park Worldwide. Sean, how are you doing? It's really good to see you. I'm glad you're having a good time here at my local, Alton Towers. Yeah. Sounds like you've had a really good day, got plenty of rides done. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I mean, what have you made of the park today so far? I mean, I've only been here a couple of hours, as you know, we've been my local, just come for a little stroll around. But yeah, it's nice. They've actually opened up some more of the towers, I've noticed as well today. Oh, They've some of the West Wings, that's really nice. What is that? Uh, and yeah, it doesn't seem too busy. Obviously, what last week I filmed the a video about the crowds and it was really busy but this week doesn't seem quite as bad you picked a good day to come yeah 100 percent monday's always the best day definitely um i mean in terms of what your thoughts are going into next season i mean what are you expecting from the toy poi 2 season you expect to maybe the, the nina science lab to get some work done sub terror reborn what are we thinking i think with the pandemic it's going to be really difficult for alton towers to really see where they're going to go next you know in terms of funding as well is the money going to be there, you know, um, for things? So it's going to be interesting, but hopefully we'll hear something soon. I would love to see something done, especially with this entire building. I think it looks a bit of an eyesore, to be honest. Yeah. So it'd be nice to see them do something with it. Um, and then maybe look at some permanent flats to replace the retro squad. But that's what I would do. Is that going to happen? Who knows? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, Scarefest is coming up very, very soon in a couple of months. Yes. I mean, in terms of new mazes, maybe that's some terrible building could be for Project 42 returning or some kind of new maze in that building. I think we might see something new this year. Yeah, I yeah. think you think Autumnville Mantos could come back, or do you think we're looking at something new there, or where, where do we think we're looking at new maze? I, I mean, I love Autumnville Mantos, it's great theming, I love it, but 
it has done a lot of years now, hasn't it? So I'm not too sure. But it is still set up because, like I say, they've opened more of the towers and I've just seen the signage and stuff still there. All so right. maybe it is still going to be uh, coming back this year. But yeah, I'd like to see uh, a new maze and I think we probably will get a new maze this year. Yeah, 100%. And uh, finally, I mean, What's been a top coaster? Because Wickham I've tried today, a little bit rapidly, but still great. Nemesis has felt quite rough. I don't know why, but it just there's something needs doing to it. There was rumours at the start of the year of a major refurbishment for next season, about the, the trap being redone, the trains. I mean, do you think it's time Nemesis got a makeover to keep its last brand going? Or yeah, I mean, Nemesis isn't going anywhere. Like, you know, it, it's a solid addition. Is it going to need work to stay going? Yes, it is. Whether that's a full retrack, partial retrack, new trains, whatever it is, something will be done to it. It, but you know, as a brand, it's Old Town's most important ride, like, in my opinion. And it's still my favourite coaster here by a long way. I do agree that it's a little bit rattly now, especially on the stall turn. Yeah. You do notice it quite a bit. But hopefully, it will get the work that it deserves. It will get the work that it deserves. 100%. Like, Alton Towers will be Alton Towers without that coaster. Yeah, 100%. Sean, sure, thank you very, very much for appearing on Coast Channel for the no first worries. time your debut. You're all right. I'm glad the channel's going well for you. That's what it's all about. Having a good time, making the most alive. That's what I say. Keep up the good work. Well, that is it from our day here at the Alton Towers Resort. As you can see, we're on the monorail again, like we started the vlog. I am absolutely knackered. My back's killing me. My knees are belting. But I've had a fantastic day for my 20 first birthday. It's been an absolutely unbelievable trip. Shout out to Sam Brooke from Think Park Worldwide. I'll leave the Think Park Worldwide channel and social media links in the description down below. And for now guys, stay tuned for more videos coming from this trip. My name is Coach Shell. Keep me on the coast of life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have a towers-tastic day.